Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Fuel Fold 1. Now this thing here has some really good ratings and people have been literally raving about this online. So I thought I'd get it tested out for you today. So we're gonna do an unboxing. I'll show you what comes inside of the box when you first get it. It's got some cool features on this bike I've never seen before. So we're gonna cover that in today's video. Let's unbox it. So there we go, unveiled right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the straps up. I'm gonna assemble it for you. It should only take me about 15 minutes. We'll take a look at it. This is really nice. All right, so we've got it all built as you can see right here. I'm ready to hit the road and test this guy out. It did take about 30 minutes to build, so a little bit longer than I anticipated, but that's just because they added a few things, like they actually added a rear view mirror standard. I thought that was pretty cool. Little things like that make all the difference. So I want to take this on the road. We'll test it out. We'll check out all the specs while we ride. And then at the end, I'll give you my final impressions. Let's get on the road. All right, so I'm out here riding and the first impression I get right off the bat, you can just tell that this e-bike is of high quality. It's got a really comfortable seat. It's got really comfortable grips. Everything about this thing is just a smooth, smooth ride. So let's talk specs. Let's get right into it, guys. So what kind of range does this bike get? Well, it rates at about 70 mile extended range. So you're getting 70 miles off this and that's with a 720 watt hour battery. Now the motor's a 750 watt, so you're gonna have some good power as well, which will get you about 20 miles per hour on this foldable e-bike. I think one of the nice things about this e-bike more than anything else, it's really nice looking, obviously, but it has a fantastic suspension. It is a full suspension, 125 millimeter travel suspension in your rear suspension, but you also have a hydraulic suspension fork of 80 millimeters, so you've got lots of give in this suspension so you just don't feel those bumps at all on the road and in addition to that you've got really nice tires which are four inches wide so you've got these big fat tire knobby tires so that alone absorbs a lot of those bumps but then with this full suspension it's just that much better it's a unique unibody folding design as well so it's all one piece which is incredibly rare on e-bikes and when you fold it up it actually has a little magnet on the front wheel and then it has a little a plate on the back and it locks together, which is again, something you just never see on foldable e-bikes or any e-bike for that matter. Another nice thing about this e-bike over some others that I've reviewed is the speed at which it charges. It only took me about, and I, I ran it almost completely dead. I think there was maybe 10, 15% left on the battery when I plugged it in and it charged up to 100% in just over four hours. And I timed it because I was curious because that's one of the selling points of this e-bike is the fast charge. Well, it definitely was fast. To do it in, in just a little over four hours is pretty darn impressive. It actually folds really small as well, which I was surprised and I was able to get this in the back of my Jeep with an additional folding e-bike without any problems whatsoever. A few other quick specs before I give you my final thoughts. Again, it has that full suspension, so you've got both front and rear. It has five assistance levels. It has a full color display. It utilizes 85 newton meters of torque as well. So keep in mind, guys, even though it only shows 20 miles per hour, is a top speed that's because of the limiter it actually has the power to go even faster than that and it will maintain that 20 miles an hour up those hills which a lot of e-bikes will say it'll go 31 miles an hour but once you hit that hill you're dropping down to about 5 to 10 miles per hour and I've tested a lot of e-bikes that that is the case but it's not with this one so it actually maintains that max speed even going up those steep hills, which is really, really nice. Let me give you my final thoughts on this folding e-bike. I hope you enjoyed the riding scenes. First thing I want you to do is I want you to comment down below. Let me know what you think of this e-bike so far. Guys, I'm just gonna give you my final impressions on this. I know I went over all the specs while I was riding, but this was a very comfortable wide seat. This is 11 inches wide. This is the most comfortable seat that I have actually ever ridden on on an e-bike. So, and that's saying a lot because I've ridden a lot of e-bikes. The rack, very sturdy, very solid right onto the frame. Really good quality throughout. Does have that front adjustable suspension as well. 
just molded very, very nice. Good looking bike and big, huge color display. I love the grips. They're very, very comfortable. Um, it's the little details that make all the difference. Having a rear view mirror, yes, you can add them, but it's nice that it comes with it. Comes with fenders. Um, overall, final impressions are it's just really well built. And like I said, I have already gone over all the specs. Um, I just wanted to give you my final impressions. Uh, it is foldable design as well, so you can just snap it open and it folds right in half. Really easy folding mechanism. Sometimes on these e-bikes, um, it can be a little bit stiff and really hard to do. This is really good quality. The neck is also adjustable down, so you can fold that down as well. So it does have some really good features. It's got a nice bright front headlight. It also has a light in the back, not just a reflector, but a light. Uh, so those are both really good features. It is an eight speed. Some people want to know that. E-bikes, a lot of times you just throttle or you pedal with the assist, but if you want to use it as a regular bike, it is an eight speed as well. And these are the, those big tires. So you've got the 20 inch tires that are four inches wide with lots of grit. So whether you're on-road or off-road, you can take this e-bike. So it really is a well-rounded, all around good e-bike that you can stick in the back of an SUV, even a sedan because it folds down so small. Um, I like it's adjustable as well. The seat can be adjusted really high or really low, so it's easy to get on and off. I really, I give this a thumbs up definitely on this one. Again, this is the fuel fold one. And um, out of a scale of one to 10, I give this an 8.4, which if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that is one of the highest scores that I've ever given. Really like this e-bike, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.